We are now recording. Awesome. Well, welcome everybody to our getting to know your business call. This is your initial training call. Um, and because this call is recorded, you can go back and look at it again and again if there's some elements that you're um, un un unclear about. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, go through your new consultant welcome guide or getting started guide and really go into detail about that. Um, oh, do you know this little, hang on. I am going to go back a screen. And, oh, maybe I'm not. Let's see. Hang on. I want to get rid of this annotation. I guess I can use my eraser. Ooh, look at that. All right. So let me go back to screen. All right. So first of all, I want to um, let you guys know that your starter kit is absolutely phenomenal. And you never know where that party is going to be able to take you. So once you get your starter kit, what you're going to realize is that there is a ton of Tupperware in the box, right? But there's a much more important piece and it's your green, um, turquoise green. And some of you might have got a purple pink one, but the new one is the turquoise green um, box. And it, you open it up and it says, let's get the party started and inside there you're going to find some really important elements you're going to find your getting started guide that we're going to be going through aha Chelsea you got your purple one um, you're going to be able to go through and get your getting started guide and the getting started guide that you have in your purple box is going to be a little different than the one that we're going to be going through but the information is still the same so if you have your getting started guide I'd love for you to pull it out the other thing you're going to find in there is your new consultant date book. That date book is, it's going to be your lifeline to your top war business. So you want to make sure that you get that out and get ready to go through that. You also get some what they call party planning envelopes and they are um, party planning folders. And those are actually designed for you to fill up with a couple of catalogs and order forms and some sales flyers and give to your host um, so that they can go ahead and start collecting outside orders and they have a place to put that stuff nice and handy. Um, there's also a place for them to write their wish list and also a place for them to write their guest list. We're gonna talk a little bit about party planning later in the call. The other thing you're gonna find in your, get, in your box is the career guide. And that's really something I'd like you to go ahead and really take some time and look through because in our Tupperware business, being a consultant is just a starting point. It's not the finishing end, it's not the finish line. It's actually, just getting started. And so you have your career guide and it actually will take you all the way up through director to, to organizational leader. And I want to encourage you to kind of take a look at that. And if there's some information in there that you would like to have clarification on, please feel free to reach out to, out to me. I'm a big Starbucks junkie. So if you'd like to meet for coffee and talk a little bit about where your future um, in Tupperware could go, I, I would love to do that. The other thing you're going to find is you're going to find some order forms and some catalogs and of course your apron and your kit bag. Now the neat thing about the kit bag is everything that you got in your kit will fit in the bag with some extra room to spare, which is kind of nice because you're going to want to be able to put your say yes offer in there. Uh, many of you got the mandolin for your say offer and that's going to fit really nice in the bag. Um, some of you are brand new who just got started through the TNT challenge. I'm actually going to be getting your smart multi cooker and that will also fit in the bag too. So that that kit bag has a little bit of room to expand and to grow with some great new products. What you're going to notice too is the box of materials really kind of fun and that's really where your meat and potatoes is because I want you to kind of get familiar with some of the Tupperware processes that we have but I know that you're going to want to play with a product and our Tupperware products that you get in your starter kit um, if you have an, the kit that started before the TNT challenge you actually have the can opener. Okay, but the new kit actually has the new Chef Series knife. Um, and the reason why they did that swap out is because so many um, of us are doing fresh ingredients instead of doing canned ingredients. So we're doing fresh tomatoes and fresh onions and fresh cilantro. And it's nice to have a good sharp knife in our kit. If you've ever heard of this story of being cut with a dull knife, that's a true story. The easiest way to cut yourself is with a dull knife. So utilizing our Tupperware, our Tupperware um, E-Series knives, excuse me, our universal knives, they're great and they're very sharp. Um, the other thing you're gonna find is our Cover Girl, which is, um, I guess it's, it's our Power Chef. It's one of those products that will allow you to really do tons of different, um, tons of different demonstrations. And it's actually one that, I particularly love because it gives give you an opportunity to really kind of sell and talk about a higher end product. You know, when you talk about products that are a little bit higher end, and you talk about the pressure cooker, the smart steamer, the micro pro grill, and those that are in the realms of over a hundred dollars, 
one of the best ways to get those products is for free or half price. So it gives you an opportunity to talk about the next party and it gives an opportunity for you to date parties because there will be people in your, at your party that may not want to buy that power chef. They may want to come in and join your Tupperware business and become a recruit of yours to get the power chef, or they may want to date a party and get it for free half price. So here's some things that I want to kind of share with you too. It's really about going digital and there's lots of different ways that you can stay connected with Tupperware. Now, just to kind of let you know that we have information that comes out almost basically on a weekly basis. And so you want to make sure that you are, have the right email address in your account because every Saturday morning you're going to get what we call a my week email. And that has all the promotions, all the specials, all the things that you need to know that will help you enhance and be more profitable in your Tupperware business. Um, your, your Tupperware website is my.tupperware.com. And uh, sometimes I, I've heard in, um, in, in our downline that there's some issues with maybe getting online um, on your, through your my.tup the first couple of times. So you can simply call customer care and they usually will able to unlock you from um, not being able to get into your account or at least give you some ideas of how to do that. So sometimes it's your web browser, sometimes it's cookies, sometimes it's um, caches, it's, it's, I guess it's called caches, right? Um, Ken, are they caches or caches? <laughs> Cash. Cash. Thank you. So um, why does it have an E on the end then? But <laughs> so it is, maybe it's a foreign word, right? The other thing we have too is we have our Tup Hub. So if you have a smartphone, Android or iPhone, you can actually go to your Google Play or you can go to your App Store and you can download the Tup Hub. And the Tup Hub is actually, um, it is a a, a mobile connection for you to go ahead and check your reports, check your recruits. Um, it, at, at Jubilee, it came in really handy because we were able to check our schedule. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Um, so the Top Hub is really kind of a fun little mobile application for you to stay connected in your business too. And then the other thing we have is we have our Tupperware text messages. And you can get all this information um, in your back office. Uh, the neat thing about your Tupperware text messages is you can actually look up replacement parts and those kind of things through this process. So if you're at a Tupperware party and you, somebody says, I need, I need a seal for this bowl, you can actually go to your text messaging system and it will actually pop up what the cost of that particular seal is and the item number to order. So these again are things that will help you become more efficient in your Tupperware business um, if, you, if you choose to do that. Uh, the other thing too is we have a couple of really great um, resources for you to kind of enhance your Tupperware business and your demonstrations. The one that I use a lot is the blog.tupperware.com. There are tons of recipes on there um, that marry our, our, premier, um, our premier products like our pressure cooker, our micro pro grill, and now our new smart multi cooker. There's recipes on there too. So blog.tupperware.com along with um, Instagram and Facebook. Again, some great ways for you to grab some recipes and um, copy some memes and put them on your own Facebook group. Some of the things that we want to make sure that you are aware of is ways that you can enhance your Tupperware in-home party. Uh, you can do Facebook parties, you can do Tupper Connect parties, and you can do what we call Party Plus. So Facebook parties are kind of a different banana on their own. When I do uh, Tupperware parties, I always try to do a Facebook event for my host so that they have the opportunity to invite through Facebook, but I actually like to do the in-home party. Now I know there's um, Salesforce members out there who do Facebook parties and do a really great job, and we do have some training available on our Facebook group and on our YouTube channel. So um, if you're interested in doing that and find out, you know, reach out to some of the other people in your, in the industry and um, ask them if you can tag along on their Facebook party to learn more information about that. We have a program called Tupper Connect and what it does is it actually gives the party um, an exclusive URL that the customer can click onto or go to and it goes connected right to that host party. So let's say I live in Denver, Colorado, and um, the party happens to be happening here in Spokane, Washington. I can take the link, go online and shop. The order will get direct shipped to my house in Denver, but the host will get credit and so will the consultant and the consultant make profit. The last thing that we have is we have what we call a, a party plus. And 
basically what that is it's like coming into the party virtually you can actually give again an exclusive link through this program that we're using right now called zoom and it allows you to do a live demonstration while your people that are all over uh, maybe they maybe they just live down the street and they can't come to the party because they have a sick child or maybe they live across the country and they want to be able to see the demonstration they can actually log in to this program right here and they can watch you do the demonstration. So you just need to make sure that you're having a tablet or a, a mobile device or you can bring your laptop to the party and that's called Party Plus. It brings the guests into the Tupperware party so they actually get to see the demonstration. Don't forget too that there are some do's and don'ts when it comes to social media and that of course is posted on your my.tup. So let's talk about your plan for success. You know in Tupperware we always start with a dream. We start with Something that is going to fuel our fire, so to speak. So I want you to think about five things that you want to get out of your new Tupperware business. Do you want to get out of maybe building more confidence? Do you want to maybe be able to meet new people? Do you want to make some money? Um, maybe you want to drive a company car in the future. Maybe you like that idea of earning your trip to Hawaii. So what are five things that you would really like to get out of your Tupperware career? It doesn't necessarily have to be tangible things. It could be intangible things. It could be, you know, being able to spend more time with your family, being able to create a family business. And that's one thing that I've, I've discovered over the many years that I've been in Tupperware is this business is really easy to involve your family, involve your kids. They can stamp the catalogs and they can help you pack the Tupperware. And when your kids are driving, they can actually deliver the Tupperware too, <laughs> which is kind of nice. Um, so you can decide how you want to involve your family if that's what you want. Then the other thing, what's going to keep you focused? You know, right now we have an amazing program called our Confidence Start Program. And it allows you um, an opportunity to win and earn some amazing prizes, like the pressure cooker and the stack cooker, the mandolin, and of course, our, our cookware set that's in the catalog for $1,200. You can actually earn that whole entire set for free. So what's gonna keep you focused? What's gonna inspire you to keep going? And of course, remember that you wanna make sure that you have a timeline on all of these things. Like I wanna be able to make $1,000 in my first two months of business, or I wanna be able to, to earn that cookware set in my first you know 10 weeks instead of 13 so anytime you set a goal make sure you have a timeline in place too so let's talk about the real reason you're in Tupperware right so let's talk about how much money you want to make and this is actually a great example of how you can calculate what you need to do to make the kind of money you make that you want to make you know and it's unlike a regular job because it gives you an opportunity to make the money that you deserve to make um, in a very short period of time. So let's say for instance, I have my calculator here. Let's say for instance, you want to make a thousand dollars. Okay. A thousand dollars a month. Okay. That's a pretty good number. Um, so we take a five, we take a thousand dollars. That's how much money you want to make. Okay. So we take a thousand and we times that by four. Okay, so that would be your sales goal. So because we make 25% commission of what we sell. So if I have $4,000 and that's my sales goal, um, most of our parties are going to be about $500. You're going to have some parties that are a little lower. You're going to have some parties that are a little higher. Sometimes you're going to have parties that are eight, nine, a thousand dollar Tupperware party. My biggest party was $3,200. And that was a party, it was not a fundraiser, it was an actual in-home party. It was pretty fun, let me tell you. So if you take what you wanna, what you need to sell to make your thousand dollars, which is 4,000, and you divide that by 500, because that's our party average, that tells you how many parties that you need to have to make that thousand dollars. So does anybody know what the answer is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So shout out the answer. So if I want to make $1,000 and I need to sell $4,000 to make that $1,000, how many $500 parties do I need to hold? Eight. <laughs> I can see Chelsea. Eight. Oh, I love Ken. Ken says two because he has a good party average, right, Ken? So um, eight, eight parties or two parties a week right? He might have been doing two parties a week, but two parties a week will get you to have $1,000 income. Now, the neat thing too is we actually have bonuses that you can go ahead and earn too. So it does say here in the bottom line, it says eight parties or two parties a week. It says right there in the, in the, in the tagline. So, but $1,000 is, is really, take that and times that by 12. $12,000. What would $12,000 do for you this year? So we have a proven success formula. It's called the one, two, one success plan. 
And what it is, is by really focusing on one to two parties per week, right, that you want to hold. Now, if you want to make $1,000 in a month, you would need to make sure you have two parties, right? But if you're willing to make $500, five or $600 by holding one party a week, and from that one party, scheduling two new parties to be held in your next two to three weeks, and then identifying one or more new potential consultant from the party. That's our one to one success plan. And when you focus on the one to one success plan, a couple of things are going to happen. You're going to have a consistent Tupperware business. In other words, you're going to make money every single week. You're going to be earning your Confident Start Awards, and you're going to be earning some of your weekly awards, too. So we kind of like look at, okay, what do we got to do to get the ball rolling? So I have a little checklist here of what you would be looking at accomplishing in your first 30 days. Okay, so the first one is to go observe a party. Now, if you're not in the area or um, you live out in the Dooley Julie Berries. We do have some training and some parties that are actually on our YouTube channel, which I'll give you that information toward the end of the call. But um, you can see a, 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 a recorded Tupperware party. You can go on a party with another manager or another consultant. Um, but I really want to encourage you to go see a Tupperware party. The neat thing, too, is I'd like you to encourage you to go to maybe more than one because there's never a party that's the same. They're always different. Attend new consultant class. That's what you're doing right now. Okay. Attend a Tupperware sales meeting or what we call rally. <laughs> Ken, you are so cute. I love it. Um, attend a Tupperware sales meeting or rally, and most of you have done that already. Um, then, of course, attend a team meeting, uh, and that's something that your manager or your director will have. Um, many of you came to my home um, last month. That would count as a team meeting. And then, of course, go ahead and go through your demonstration and go through your products, and there's a recipes inside your Getting Started book, and I want to encourage you to try all of those recipes. Get your hands on the product. Do your frank list, which we're going to talk a little bit about, and of course, set up your my.salesforce.com website, um, which, again, it's a digital tool, really great. Uh, sign up for your Tupperware card, which we're going to go into details, and then schedule your launch or thank you party over the next five to seven days. And the reason why I want to call that a thank you party is because it's a great way to get your people together, your friends, your family, your neighbors, and kind of thank them for being there and thank them for helping you get started in your Tupperware business. So whether you call it a launch party, a go party, or a thank you party, you can decide, but it really needs to be done in the next five to seven days. What that does is it, it's that sense of urgency and it will help you date those next few parties into your date book so that you qualify for your Say Yes and Activation Award. So one of the most important things is to know what's happening and tracking your progress. Now, when you started to sell, when you signed on to sell Tupperware, the very next day is day one and you have 60 days to sell a thousand dollars to get that either that sixty dollars back if you paid for your kit up front or to have Tupperware forego the balance of your Tupperware kit. So you want to make sure that you know when your 60 days is. The other thing you might want to do is you want to go ahead and pencil in your parties or you want to pencil in some of the other things that are going on in your world. And of course you want to go ahead and pencil in what we have going on um, as as Starpoint sales. We have training available for you whether it's live training or whether it's cooking training. Last night we had a fabulous fun guest night, um, fun night. I know Chelsea and Danielle was there. Welcome, Danielle. Hi, Danielle. Um, so, <laughs> so what I love most about our Tupperware meetings is that it's we really try to make them informative and we try to make them fun and we try to make them engaging. We have some really great training coming up um, through the uh, late summer and into the fall and it's our fast track class. We got webinar training, we got celebration training, and of course we have new consultant training too. So this is actually posted on our Facebook group and but I went ahead and um, posted it up here too. It'll be in the webinar uh, during our recording so you can always go back and look at it there too. So let's talk about some of the key products that you have in your your kit because you know the bottom line is many of us come into Tupperware because we want the product right we want to get our hands on the product and this power chef product is amazing yeah. it actually allows you to um, make salsas it chops your onions it will make mayonnaise it'll whip up a cake it will do whipping cream um, it'll do frittatas it will do scrambled eggs it'll do almost anything you need it to do the other thing too is because it doesn't have electricity Take it anywhere. You can take it camping, you can take it to the beach, you can take it to your friend's house and make fresh salsa. So next time you're invited to a party and you're asked to bring something, say, oh, you know something, let me bring the salsa and the chips. Don't bring the salsa already made. 
bring the ingredients for the salsa along with your power chef and get some help from other friends that are in the kitchen. And Doe, by the way, make sure you have a couple of catalogs handy and a couple of business cards too, because they're gonna wanna get their hands on this product. The other one that is kind of fun to play with and practice with is the breakfast maker. And I know, I know you're like, really Kelly, the breakfast maker? This thing will do, are you ready? This will do a three, four, it'll actually do a one, two, three cake in this. You can do a brownie in this. You can do a flip-flop cake. You can do, Right, you can do an omelet. Um, there's lots of different things. You can actually do French toast in this too. So I want you to go ahead and take a peek at your recipes that are in your Getting Started Guide. Utilize some of these products, have some fun with them. So when you go to do your first party, that you feel confident in doing that. So let's talk about who we're gonna party with, right? We're gonna party with Frank. <laughs> Don't tell your husband you're partying with Frank, okay. <laughs> so Frank stands for friends and relatives, acquaintances and neighbors. And what this is, is it gives you an opportunity to kind of think about who do I know that would be interested in having a Tupperware party? Who would be interested in starting a business along with me? Who would be my first recruit? Who would maybe like to see a catalog? Who maybe um, belongs to a group or organization that maybe needs money, right? Somebody that maybe um, needs, you know, <laughs> and, and Ken is dancing there because Ken's all about fundraising. Uh, who do I know that wants to get their kitchen organized, their refrigerator organized, their freezer organized? These are, this is where you start. And what I'd like to have you focus on is getting as many people on there as you can. Matter of fact, a hundred, okay, would be awesome. Okay. Um, the other thing that I want to make sure that you are, um, yes, Chelsea, these slides will be available to print. I can send them to you. Okay. All right. So um, think about who do you have that friends, relatives, acquaintances. Now, if you don't have kids, then you have a Fran list because K stands for kids, right? But you think about who does your nails, who cuts your hair, um, who do you see on a regular basis? Maybe the gal at the bank. Does she know that you sell Tupperware? Um, maybe, um, maybe the person that you go to the grocery store. You know, sometimes you go through the same the same checkout because you like that person. Does she know you sell Tupperware? It's okay to bring up. It's like, oh, by the way, who do you know that sells Tupperware? And I got some suggestions, some word choices a little bit later in our webinar. So be start making that list. Now, the other thing you may want to make sure that you're doing is looking at your neighborhood and we call it our T zone. And what that is, is, is the person behind you, the person across the street, the person on the right, both right sides of you, right and left side, do they know that you sell Tupperware? Does the lady down the street who brings you the, the cookies every Christmas, does she know you sell Tupperware? Let people know in your neighborhood, the kids, um, the kids at school, their parents, do they know you sell Tupperware? The school secretary, do they know you sell Tupperware? Let them know because you know what's really disheartening is when you're at your home and you see a Tupperware car pull up to your neighbor's house to do a Tupperware party because you forgot to tell your neighbor that you sell Tupperware. So think about who do you know that you could share a fun recipe with? Maybe get together with just two or three of them around the kitchen table and show them what's new in Tupperware. It's that simple. That's how easy parties can be. The other thing we might want to do is um, talking about going digital, coming back to that for a minute. You have lots of different options. And you know, when we start selling Tupperware, I tell you the most important investment is your Tupperware kit. And, um, and then of course, any of your business supplies. But the next real important one is your website and you can choose to have the free website um, it is our basic it's going to give you your news that you need it's going to be a place to have web support place for you to enter your orders all that good stuff um, but if you upgrade and you do the plus okay it's 9.95 a month and not only do you have all of those features that i previously talked about you could actually have your website so the neat thing about it is having a website is you can make money while you're sleeping you can capture leads people a lot of times will go ahead and look for a local consultant because they want to be able to do local business and if you have a 995 website you actually have a marketing website where people can find you they can place an order and you can do what we call tupper connect orders if you're looking at doing the party plus or the zoom 
you're going to want to upgrade to the silver, which is fourteen ninety five, and then we go from the gold and the platinum. So you just need to pick your water bottle that works best for you, because um, you know it it will be that point where you are looking at expanding your Tupperware business, and that you want to go ahead and be able to make um, make more contacts. and And having the plus site minimum is really a, a great place to start. So the other thing that happens is when you do have a my.tup website and you do the 995, I know this is kind of hard to explain, but what happens is there's people out there in the world, believe it or not, in the United States, who don't have a Tupperware consultant. I know it's shocking, right? It's like, oh my gosh, where's their Tupperware consultant? They don't have one, so they go to Tupperware.com. And so they order a vent and serve set, or they order a, a pressure cooker, or they order something that their girlfriend said, oh, you have to get this because Fridge Smart's so great. When you have $500 in, 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 in sales for that month, then what happens is not only are you listed on the consultant finder, all right, so people can go and say, okay, I'm looking for a consultant in my zip code, you'll pop up. But the other thing you'll do is you'll get a, a commission off of this pool. So let's give you an example. Let's say there is $100,000 worth of Tupperware sales that are generated that don't belong to a consultant, okay? The commission off of $100,000 is $25,000, right? 25,000, so we have, Tupperware has this $25,000 worth of money to pass out to people because they're gonna share the commission. So what they do is they take that 25,000 and they divide it up among every person in the Tupperware land that has had at least $500 in sales for that particular sales month and has purchased the 995 website and they give you a pool amount. It's called an e-commerce pool. I have been in Tupperware for a while many decades, and I've never had my pool amount commission be, be less than my 995 website, okay? Now, when Christmas hits, we're looking at November and December, don't be surprised when you get a $25 e-commerce bonus because everybody in the land wants Tupperware. So that tells you one of two things. First of all, we need to capture those customers and make them yours so they go to your website and you don't have to share that commission with anybody. Um, but definitely making sure that you're selling that $500 every single month so you're, lo you're posted on the consultant finder, but also to get that little bit of what I call kickback. Um, so it actually um, adds up to be the amount of what you pay every month, if not more. All right, so great little thing that way. So how do I get some of my money? How do I get these deposits? I really love my Tupperware card. And you can actually go online, and um, once you go into your web order entry, there's a little gray box over to the right-hand side. It says Tupperware card. Now, I also have some training on our my.tup. Okay, um, and I also have training on our YouTube channel of how to register for a Tupperware Freedom Card. So now the neat thing about the Freedom Card is it gives you, or the Tupperware Card, it gives you points. So for every dollar that you use um, on your Tupperware Card, which is linked to your checking account. So let me, let me back up a minute. Tupperware has what they call an EFT, Electronic Funds Transfer Agreement with Electrum. You're going to marry your Tupperware Card to your checking account. Okay, so they're married. Now, you can only use your Tupperware card for Tupperware purchases on your Tupperware account. Okay, so you can't take it to the grocery store unless you're doing the debit card, but you want to do the check card, it's easier. So you marry this Tupperware card to your checking account. So then what happens for every time I go ahead and use my Tupperware card, and the reason why Tupperware does this, let me explain to you why they do this. How many of you have heard of Visa and MasterCard fees? Heard of fees? Yeah, fees in the realm of two and a half, three and a half, five percent that the merchant gets charged for taking a Visa or a MasterCard payment. So what this does is it allows Tupperware to lower their fees so they're not paying Visa and MasterCard, these fees, for using their card. Um, so they're paying Electrum a lower amount of fees. So what they do is that, that fees that they're saving, they give to you in the form of rewards. So for every dollar that you use your Tupperware card for, you get a point. When you have 2,000 points, you get a set of catalogs and sales flyers for $2.75, okay, plus, plus tax, okay, that's the shipping, okay? So I have, I, I have not bought myself personal catalogs or sales flyers 
for years because I save my points and I always get catalogs and sales flyers for free. Now, if you don't want sales catalogs and sales flyers, you can um, actually for a thousand points, you can get that bag of all little game prizes that you give away at your party. You can get that for a thousand points. So you can bank these points and they'll stay there literally forever. Okay. Um, and you can use those points as you need to. So it's just kind of a little bit of an incentive for you to use the Tupperware card because Tupperware is going to reward you to do that. So this is the next thing I want to talk about. It's called no. I know no are they just a terrible word, isn't it? Well, you know, I want to ask you if a two-year-old is offended when you say no. <laughs> Probably not. Because when you say no, they hear maybe, <laughs> right? When you talk to your husband or significant other and you ask them the question like, no, we're not going to do that. You're like, maybe, right? Because think about this. When you don't ask the question, it's an automatic no. So what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to try to collect a hundred no's. Now, what's going to happen along the process is you're going to get some yeses. Even when you ask people and you know, gosh, would you like to see a catalog? Would you like to have a Tupperware party? Would you like to join me in, in my business? You're going to get a yes about once every eight, 10 people. All right. So when you talk to a hundred people, you're going to get 10 parties. Okay, you're probably going to get a couple of recruits and you're going to get some orders too. So no doesn't hurt you. And you never know when they can turn into a yes over time. Um, to draw an example, if you've ever gone shopping, right, and you walk into the store and the sales lady says, can I help you find something? You say, no, thank you. Right. And then the neat thing about it is when you really need her, she's taking a break. Right. Okay. The other thing too is when you were a child, at least when I was a child, my mom was in, um, an, a, in another type of company and I would kind of go with her. And so she said this to me, she goes, if they ask if you want anything, you say, no, thank you. <laughs> right? Because we're trained as children to say, no, thank you. Right? So we have, we have an immediate response to say no, because that's kind of who we are. And sometimes we have to ask a question again and again before they say yes. Just because they say no doesn't mean it can't be a yes in the future. So I really want to encourage you to try to work on getting 100 no's. But what, like I said, what's going to happen along the way is you're going to get some yeses in between. So let's talk about getting ready for your first party, whether this be your thank you party, your launch party, your first party with your neighbor next door or your best friend. What you want to make sure you're doing is that you are looking at what we call the blueprint of the party. Having a Tupperware party really is pretty basic and it's pretty simple. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you set a date, right? And what I mean by that is a date that's specific date and time and a place to hold the party. That's why Tupperware gives you that cool date book, right? So you can go ahead and use that date book to write your datings in. The second thing you want to do is you want to talk with your host, make sure that she has all the uh, materials available for her party, but you want to be talking about a recipe. Now, inside your Getting Started Guide, there is about six recipes that you can do that are party-friendly recipes. Uh, if you don't like those recipes, go on Pinterest, go to Pinterest and look at Tupperware, and you'll see tons of recipes. Go to the blog, blog.tupperware.com. Go to our Facebook group. Go to your back office in your my.tupperware, and you'll see tons of different recipes that you can um, do at the Tupperware party. You don't have to do a recipe if you don't want to. Uh, however, in most cases, your host will go ahead and serve some type of a refreshment. So sometimes it's easier just to do some of the prepping and the cooking there. That way the host doesn't have to worry about it and you're, you're, you're using your Tupperware products at the same time. So the next thing you want to do, so you want to make sure you give her party planning folder. Remember, you get those in your starter kit. You're going to go ahead and put a couple of catalogs, some sales flyers, some order forms, and of course, some information about our Tupperware business opportunity. And then you're going to want to stay in touch with the host over the next week or so, depending on how far dated she is. Um, definitely Definitely call her within 48 hours of her party just to touch base, get her excited about her party, find out how many people are coming, and um, then so that way you're prepared to go do the Tupperware party. So when you get to the Tupperware party, some of the things that you might want to be tech technical look about, um, I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything on the chat. So Ken, you're doing a good job monitoring that. So if there's something I need to know, let me know, okay? 
<laughs> so what we want to do is we want to make sure we prep our host, right? So making sure that we have a recipe selected for her, that she's prepared. And of course, um, you can actually make sure that you, uh, like I said earlier, have a con uh, what we call an opportunity flyer and you can actually print off the new say yes flyer that's actually available in your back office prep yourself right is your now this is this is the hard part make sure you pull the, the the tupperware out of your kitchen and put it in your kit bag because the one time that you go to the party to make salsa and you forgot oh no my power chef is in my dishwasher <laughs> will be the last time that ever happens okay so making sure you have your kit in because you know you're going to be using the Tupperware products at home right so make sure you have your business kit make sure you have your catalogs make sure you have everything that you need so that you can go and confidently do the Tupperware party and before you leave make sure you check the Facebook group or maybe your back office to make sure that there's you know not a sale special or some type of a promotion going on that um, you don't necessarily have to you know worry about or print off and then do a, do a check in the mirror. How do you look? You know, the neat thing about this Tupperware business is you don't have to be real fancy. A blouse, a pair of black slacks, and your Tupperware apron that you get in your kit is all you need to look professional. Um, and of course, the apron is nice because it helps protect your clothes too. So once you get to the Tupperware party, how do we make this baby go? All right, so you wanna arrive about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes prior to the party. And as people are coming into the party, you're gonna be chit chatting, you're gonna be talking to them, you're gonna be asking them a little bit about how they know the host. Um, you know, is she the mother, the sister, the best friend? Is she the neighbor? Does she, is she the coworker? Who are the guests in relationship to the Tupperware party? Then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and talk about some of the key products that you have. Now. One of the things that I'm going to kind of alleviate any stress from you is you don't have to talk about everything in your kit. <laughs> Yay! Right? What you want to look at is because you really don't have time. Your demonstration needs to be about 20 to 30 minutes. That's about it. And in most cases, it's going to take you maybe 20 minutes to make the salsa, um, talk about those products, and then you got about 10 more minutes to talk about one or two of your favorite products. So you really don't have time to talk about everything in the kit, but pick out your favorites, study those products, and inside your uh, Getting Started Guide and also in your back office, there's some really great information of what our products do and what the benefits of using them are. So inside all of your products, you have what they call a product, um, product leaflet or product knowledge op, um, a pamphlet. Pull that out, it's usually in three languages but read the English unless you can read Spanish or French, but read the, read the product, read about the features and benefits, read about what it can do, and then go ahead and maybe put them on a little index card, tape that index card to the product. So when you hold up the product, you actually have all of those features and benefits kind of attached to the product. The other thing that's nice about having that, so when I go ahead and pass that product around the party, people can actually read what the benefits of owning the product are. It's going to say, keep your vegetables fresher. Um, it's what page it's on and what the cost is. You can actually put that right on the index card and slap that baby, take that baby right on the product. It's okay to use notes at your party. It really is. Matter of fact, I really suggest it. Then of course, during after you're done with the demonstration you're going to do a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time. You're going to be connecting with the customers, helping them do their order, helping them plan okay for um for the next party then of course don't forget to talk about the to the host about her, her the business opportunity and of course pack up and get out of dodge uh if the party's not already closed right then and there make sure you connect with the host to close the party within the next 24 to 48 hours so one of the things that you're going to have in your getting started guide is you're going to have really what to do at the party, kind of a step-by-step -step process of some things that you want to go ahead and do. So what you want to do is maybe take their little good and started guide with you to the party and highlight inside your flyer into your guide of some key components that you want to make sure that you remember. It's okay to use notes and it's okay to use crutches. So how do I go ahead and make this thing happen? So I'm done with the party. I'm coming home, right? So now what do I do? Now we have the checks made out to you, okay? So you take the checks and you put them into the account that's attached to the Tupperware card, right? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna process your orders and you're gonna send a thank you note to your host and a thank you note to everybody who dated a Tupperware party. And then you're gonna let the, your upline know who do you feel would be great at selling Tupperware because then we'll partner with you to be able to talk with them either on the telephone or in person um, and maybe even have them come to an event so that we can share with them uh, some entering, uh, 
some business opportunity um, information. When you go to enter your orders, there are some tutorials online. There's actually snippets of tutorials of how to enter an order, and they're in like 30 second increments, so you can process that as you go. The other thing too is there's nothing you can hurt. So I'm going to suggest you go in and just kind of play around with your web order entry. Just don't hit the submit button, put your credit card number in. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Do a fake party, go through the process, have some fun with it, play around so that when you have your first orders to go in, that you're kind of familiar with that. And don't forget your manager is there to help you, right? Um, along with customer care. You can actually call customer care and they'll actually process the orders for you. Okay. What's going to happen though <clears throat> is you're going to like this Tupperware thing. I mean, that's my goal. I mean, that would be my wish for you is that you like the Tupperware thing, that you're having fun and you're making some money. And when you have an average of three standard parties in a month, Tupperware is going to give you a bonus. Remember that Tupperware card I talked to you about? That bonus is going to be loaded right on that Tupperware card and it's going to go right into your bank account. We get paid once a month, our 5% bonus, our manager bonus, and our 10% bonus. When you're holding an average of two standard parties every single week, you're going to get a $400 bonus on top of the $1,000 commission you're making. So if you're you're the kind of person who's loved to get $1,400 every single month in extra income, that basically equates to two parties a week. And you're going to get that extra bonus too. So how many of you want more though? You know, $1,400 is good money. And those of you who were at sales meeting or game night last night, um, we talked a little bit about the different levels of leadership and how that can grow um, your financial picture. And it really starts with growing a team. See, what's going to happen is when you're going out doing Tupperware parties, people are going to ask you questions and they're going to say something like, so is that what you got started with? Is that your kit? And they'll say, what kind of training do you get? And they might ask, do you're making any money at this? Does, is this any fun? Um, how long has Tupperware been around? Right? They're going to ask you these questions. And those are people who are interested in more information about maybe joining your team. So invite them to an event, invite them to sign up, invite them to join you as you start to grow a team. So in your Getting Started Guide, there are some great thought starters of who to talk to from the person at your parties, maybe your daycare provider, child's teacher, your hairdresser, any of those people who you feel are uh, would be fun to work with. Then look for certain qualities. Look for those people who have a great personality, um, people who love to smile, people who have an outgoing spirit. You know, and then of course, think about how this Tupperware business could benefit them. Do they need some extra money? Do they need some away time from the family? Uh, do they need a way to maybe build some self-confidence? Tupperware is perfect for all of those people who want to do a little bit of personal growth and development without having to go to a college class, right? So here's some word choices, and these are also going to be inside your um, getting started guide, but how to start a conversation. Um, I, I love this. It's like, gosh, you know, you have such a beautiful family, or gosh, that, that color looks great on you. And then say, gosh, when is the last time you've seen Tupperware, a Tupperware catalog, or attended a Tupperware party? The other question you can ask is, do you know anybody who sells Tupperware? And they'll say, nope. Say, well, guess what? In that case, I'm your Tupperware lady. Would it be okay if I give you my business card and exchange information with you and get your opinion on all the new things? Then, of course, as you start to engage, you can use certain powerful words, life-changing opportunity, it's fun, it's rewarding, we get free training, low startup cost, because we really do have a really great business opportunity. And then looking at gaining their commitment. So you know something? Why not give it a try for 60 days? Why not come to a party with me? Why not date your own Tupperware party? Why not come to an event with me so you can meet my business leader and my manager and have some fun and see what Tupperware is all about? So get them engaged, get them to come, and then start to grow a team. Now, like with any business, um, or any language, we have Tupperware language. <laughs> we have Tupperware lingo. And so inside your Getting Started Guide, you're going to be able to see some certain lingo words and kind of what they are. Like, for instance, what's an active consultant? What's a sales aid? What are samples? You know, these are all Tupperware lingos that we say a lot of times on a call, on a training call. Maybe we say, talk about them at, our, at events. And you're like, so what does that mean? So we actually have a in a dictionary or um, a, a meaning of our Tupperware lingo. But the one that I want to make sure that you're aware of, of course, is our Tupperware sales week and our Tupperware sales month. This is a little different than I would probably say any other direct sales company out there. 
our weeks end on Friday night at midnight, regardless of what month. Okay, that's when our sales end, our sales week ends. So it starts on Saturday and ends on Friday at midnight. Now our sales month, as again, is a little different. You can actually go through your calendar and I would suggest doing this in your date book and circling the last Friday of every calendar month. That's when our month ends. So when you're looking at selling that $1,500 um, to get that 5% bonus or selling that $4,000 to get the 10% bonus, it needs to be within the beginning of the sales month to the end of the sales month. And so if the sales month ends on the last Friday of every month, when does the new sales month begin? Well, that would be the very next Saturday, <laughs> right? Can Saturday, right? So. But that's a little different than other direct sales companies because our month doesn't always end on the last day of the month. Sometimes it ends on the sixth day of before the end of the month, right? Depending on when that Friday falls. So go through your calendar, go through your date book and circle that last Friday of every single month because that's when you want to make sure that you have all your sales in. So I wanted to make sure that was clear because that's one thing that's pretty important. I don't want you to miss a goal. I don't want you to miss an award. I certainly don't want you to miss a bonus because you don't understand our sales month and how it ends, okay? We have a famous lifetime warranty. Yes, we do. And that lifetime warranty includes chipping, peeling, breaking, and cracking. But I want to make sure that you understand that there is shipping and handling charges on replacement parts. And I know we run into individuals that have been, in, been they've had Tupperware in their home for 50 years. And they're little old ladies that are 50s, well, maybe not 50. 80 years old, because I'm 50, okay? So don't go back that far. But maybe they have Tupperware that's been around for 45 years and it's cracked. And that happens. I mean, you use a product for 45 years, it may not stay forever. But we do have a lifetime warranty. We stand behind that. So if we have products that are chipped, broken, cracked, they're gonna get a warranty of a like item that's we currently have in our line. Now we may not have the old products that they have specifically like that, that opaque white bowl that they've had for 50 years. We don't have that bowl anymore, but we have a bowl that's like it in our line. And they're gonna get a brand new bowl because they've invested in Tupperware. But shipping and handling charges do apply. Those shipping and handling charges are stated on the back of the order form. They're also stated in the catalog, all right? So now if they're placing an order, and they're, let's say they're purchasing a $20 item, a $40 item, and they're putting a broken piece of Tupperware, a replacement part on that order, then the, it's a free replacement because they're already paying shipping and handling on the product that they're buying, okay? But if all they're purchasing, all they're doing is, is a warranty item, then shipping and handling charges do apply. All right. Now, there are some products that need to be sent to the company. Um, our Ultra Pro Ovenware and our Chef Series Cookware, those are things that need to actually be shipped to the factory um, because of the value of those. They're, they're a very big value product. Uh, we do have a 30-day warranty under certain things like our towels and those kind of things. Um, we have a quality, a quality warranty, which is about one year after purchase. And those are things like our can opener, um, our quick chef, our power chef. They have a one-year warranty. And then we have all of our plastic products that don't have moving parts, <laughs> like bowls and plates and tumblers things that don't have moving parts, that has a lifetime warranty on them. This is all available in your catalog and you're gonna actually see it too if you go online. So what's good when it comes to warranty work? So this is what happens is so many times as, as a new consultant, you're gonna be holding parties with people who have not been to a Tupperware party literally in 20 years. And sometimes they're holding on to this stuff. They're, they, so they bring you all this broken Tupperware. It's okay to refer them to Tupperware. It's okay to do that. So if they have multiple products and they have five, six, seven products, you can actually give them the 1-800 number off the back of the catalog and they can call Tupperware and Tupperware will take care of them for you. All right. So don't freak out. Okay. If you get all these parts and you don't know what to do, you can refer them to Tupperware. If they have one or two product pieces that need to be replaced, 
then of course we can teach you how to do that. Uh, there's actually, again, a YouTube, um, a, a YouTube uh, training on our channel that you can go ahead and dial in about warranty items. So look through that. But this is some things that are under warranty, but these are some things that aren't under warranty. Staining, dog chews. <laughs> now you might laugh at me, but seriously, Sometimes we have a toddler that's eaten, literally eaten the sipper seal spout, right? Not covered under the warranty. Um, things that are scratches, like for instance, we have these beautiful impression bowls and they use the metal beaters inside there and it's all scratched on the inside. That's not covered under warranty. Stains, microwave damage, melting in the dishwasher, or better yet, in the oven or on top of the stove. That's not covered under warranty either. However, they can purchase the replacement part to complete their set. So just because it's not under warranty doesn't mean they can't buy the piece that melted or the piece that was chewed up or the piece that was scratched. So they can actually purchase those replacement parts if they choose to. All right. So it's not, they're not, they're not like, you know, stuck. They can still get that product. It just won't be for free. Okay. So what do I do? How can I take a broken seal and turn it into a party or a new recruit? You know, in many cases, a lot of um, people that might have that broken seal, they've been hanging on to it for two to three to five years. That means they, they haven't been to a Tupperware party in that time. They haven't been invited, which means if they haven't been invited, their friends haven't had a party. And because their friends haven't had a party, what a great opportunity for them to be the person dating the Tupperware party to invite their friends who haven't been to a party in a while. So you can take these broken products and you can actually turn them into parties and recruits. So um, just some things I will go ahead and make sure that this is posted so you have an opportunity to use this. But it just kind of gives you an opportunity to go through and, and really service the customer, but invite the customer to to have you come in and share, share with them some of the new products or even come in and, and say, you know, if it's been a while since you've been to Tupperware parties, your friends haven't been to a Tupperware party. Have you ever thought about selling Tupperware because we need more Salesforce consultants in your area? Okay. So here's some information where you can find some, um, some more resources for you. Uh, we have our closed Starpoint Sales Facebook group. Many of you are already on that Facebook group. Um, and there we do post ideas, we post recipes, we do recognition, we post upcoming events. So it's a really good place to be. And what I'm gonna suggest that you do is I'm gonna really suggest that you go on that Facebook group um, daily, daily. I know if you're not a Facebooker, it's okay. Just go to that one group. Um, we also have other groups that you can go ahead and participate in. We have a catalog sales brochure and catalog one. There's a Tupperware recipe group. There's, uh, there's Facebook groups just for consultants. There's Facebook, Facebook group, uh, uh, groups just for directors. There's tons of Facebook groups. And matter of fact, um, Eva, who's on our call today, she actually has a listing of all those different Facebook groups that you might want to be involved in. So Eva, if you would be so kind to repost that, I know that you have that as a meme or some type of a document that you can post. If you could please post that again um, or bring it up to the top of the, of, the, of the feed so people get a chance to see that. But there's lots of different groups that you can involve yourself in and just you know, be part of that will help you enhance your Tupperware business. Of course, you have your my.tupperware.com website, right? Which is where you're going to be able to get a lot of your Salesforce training on there. There's your recipes and how to do your orders, all that stuff. So that's a real important website. We also have our company website. I really do my best to keep it updated. However, I need to work harder on that. But there's the tupwarestarpoint.com. And if you go under training videos, there's about seven or eight videos on there that talk about how to set up a Tepper Connect, how to set up your my.tap, how to, there's a death by chocolate party on there. Um, there's some other fun things. So take a look at that. Um, we also have our company YouTube channel. It's Starpoint Sales, Tupperware Starpoint Sales. You can actually put that in the search, Tupperware Starpoint Sales, my YouTube channel. Um, how you know it's me, it has a little round pink thing that says love what you do. Okay, um, that's our YouTube channel, tons of stuff on there. And we also have the Tupperware's YouTube channel. And these are just some of the resources. Remember, we got the blog, we got all that good stuff, but the Tupperware, U the Tupperware US and Canada YouTube channel, tons of really fun product demos that are like one minute or less. So if you're doing Facebook parties or you're doing like maybe a little advertisement for your Facebook event that's linked to your in-home party, 
great way to find some videos, some YouTube videos, post it on your feed, post it into the group, post it into the event so they can see the Power Chef in accent, action or they can see the multi cooker in action. Um, so utilize those resources because there's, there's great resources there. And all right. Yes. Thanks, Eva, for posting that again. And then this is my last screen. Um, you know, we never know where the party might take you. And the best thing to do is discover where that might be. Um, maybe, maybe it'll take you to just a part-time business. Maybe it'll take you to be able to get it a little bit of Tupperware at a discount. Maybe it'll make you a little money, maybe a hundred dollars a month, right? But maybe this Tupperware business can actually become a real viable career for you. Maybe it could be where you're making a couple thousand dollars a month. Maybe it's a company car in your driveway. Maybe it's trips to Hawaii every year. You can determine where the party takes you, okay? And I want to thank each and every one of you for being on the call today. Um, we have so many fun events. I will go ahead and make sure those are reposted so you have an opportunity to see those. And um, I want to thank you for your time tonight.